Nigeria's Niger Delta region is the main source of oil revenue, which Nigeria depends on to end foreign exchange. However, the petroleum-rich region has been at the center of national and international concern. Vandalization and oil theft have affected revenue generation and the country now struggles to meet its production quotas. Funds from stolen crude and illegal refineries and other high levels of corrupt practices in the Delta are invested in illicit arms and light weapons. Rival communities and gangs, as well as desperate politicians, take advantage of the situation to unleash terror in the already volatile region. It is primarily to keep the peace in the Niger Delta that the Joint Tax Force South-South Operation Delta Safe was established. A report presented by the Defense Headquarters for the first quarter of 2024 shows that the troops of Operation Delta Safe recovered over 560,000 liters of stolen crude oil, more than 22,500 liters of illegally refined AGO, more than 1,050 liters of DPK, and 8,000 liters of PMS, amongst others. It is to review the activities of the Operation Delta Safe that a team of journalists was embedded in a visit by senior officers of the Defense Headquarters to the Operations Theater. At the headquarters in Bayosa, the commanding officer speaks on the mandate and threat situation. Basically, we provide protection for installations. We carry out patrols. To ensure, that, to ensure that pipeline carrying crews are not tampered with. At the same time, anyone we see, anywhere we see uh, illegal refineries, we take them out so that oil production can improve and Nigeria may stay for our economy is not disturbed. Only recently, 17 soldiers from the 181 Amphibious Battalion attached to the Operation Delta Safe were ambushed in a peacekeeping mission in Okwama community, Ugeli South, Delta State. The commanding officer explains that the officers were carrying out functions within the lawful mandate of the Operation Delta Safe. Other form of criminality, courtism is taken to be a crime in this place and we tackle it as it comes. Courtism in this area is all about resource control. What do I mean? If a court group, one court group, another court group are fighting, they are fighting for the ownership of a pipeline, most likely. And if you don't address that, it will affect the main reason why OPDS was set up. Attached to the Joint Tax Force South South is Nigerian Navy ship NNS Soro in Yenogua, Bayosa State. NNS Soro covers the coastline of Bayelsa. A standard of operation which has generated some controversy is the destruction of petroleum products seized from illegal oil bunkers. Analysts accuse the federal government of waste and pollution. Here, an administrator explains why seized petroleum products are destroyed when recovered. Now, owing to the nature of the refining of these particular products, their, puri their purity level is in doubt. It cannot be used in the, for normal operations within the society. And as the product is likely referred to as co-fire, you don't actually use such products for normal everyday activities. That is why in the best interest of the defense headquarters and in line with uh, the anti-COT um, extant regulations, we're, that we're mandated to deactivate and burn these products um, accordingly as at the point of arrest. With administrative issues done, operatives of the NNS Soro then lead the DHQ executives and the media into the creeks for a first-hand experience of the JTF's operations. The journey begins with a road trip to Tuoke, the hometown of a former Nigerian president, Goodluck Jonathan. The team is then taken on an 85-minute boat ride to a recently deactivated illegal oil refining site in Sialonge, still in Bayosa. This deactivated site is hidden within the creeks. Shrubs provide appropriate covers for the illegal oil refining activities by the saboteurs. Petroleum products spilled from the sabotage process in the creeks pollutes the environment and even spills into the rivers, which flows into the sea. 
According to the operatives, the site was only deactivated the day before and four members of the gang of vandals arrested. Now, what we all know is that Nigeria loses billions of naira every day to oil theft. But often, one story that is rarely told is that of gallantry, that of able soldiers who try so often to ensure that these oil thefts does not happen. Now, at this particular site, we are at a recently deactivated site. The scenes are quite incredible. The kind of damage that has been done to the ecology and also in terms of economic damage to the country. The source of the economic sabotage is a pipeline carrying crude, vandalized by the saboteurs and the petroleum products I found into a tank from where it is directed into an oven. It obviously takes quite an effort to set up this criminal enterprise in the creeks. The Joint Tax Force explains that during the illegal oil refining, makeshift bunkers like this serve as accommodation and shelter. They say the illegal activities can go on for months if not discovered by the Joint Tax Force and deactivated. Now it is the same process from the cooking pot. It goes through it more than 20 meters into the reservoir where definitely the vandals get to siphon these oils to various vessels from where they leave the creeks. On such operations, intelligence, vigilance, doggedness and other attributes are displayed by the operatives to maneuver the terrain, outwit the saboteurs and prevent an ambush of troops. Sadly, many officers of the JTF have lost their lives in the process. We also visited the headquarters of the land component of the Operation Delta Safe at the 6th Division in Portacot and the headquarters Air Component Operation Delta Safe also in Portacot. The Air Component also plays pivotal roles in the Joint Tax Force. Their mandate includes providing air cover for troops and carrying out strikes on terrorists and their activities. A recent achievement by the Air Component was carrying out the strikes which eliminated a fugitive, Gift David Okbar, popularly known as Tubaba. He was a notorious illegal oil thief and the prime suspect in the murder of a divisional police officer in Ahuada Police Division, River State. We conducted that operation and it was quite successful. In fact, after the strike, the man was buried. Then the police had to go in there and exhume the body and to be there because it was quite important for them. Available statistics provided by the headquarters Joint Tax Force South South Operation Delta Safe since 2016 when it was activated shows that the operation has recorded the following achievements. While kinetic efforts are integral parts of stopping the sabotage, the authorities of the Joint Tax Force South-South Operation Delta Safe state that without the support of host communities and the required will by all stakeholders, it will be impossible to end illegal oil bunkery operations, meet the country's economic projections, and stop pollution and the degradation of the environment. Ferdinand Durohar.